Okay. And once we have established that memo function is awesome, now let me throw you a mine grenade. What if we have a remove person function? And keep in mind, it totally makes sense to set this function in this component. Why? Well, because the list is here. So let's set up this function, remove person. Pretty much the logic is going to be following. We'll grab the ID and we'll only return items whose ID does not match. And then we'll set the array, the people array equal to that new value. And then we want to pass it down because of course I want to invoke it in the person component. Now, in my case, I will copy and paste since we have done that quite a few times during the course. I really don't see the point of setting this up from the scratch. So let me go back to index, copy and paste, and then we want to pass it down to a person, like I said. So we're going to go to remove person is equal to remove person. Okay, beautiful. Then I'll copy and paste right away because we want to do the same thing in a list. We just need to remember that we need to structure it here as well, of course. So remove person. And then let me save the index. And then back in the person, I want to actually grab two things. I want to grab the remove person. And I also want to grab the ID. And then right after the heading four, I'm going to go with button. I'm not going to set up any classes. You can definitely do so if you want. I'm just going to go with on click. And this is going to be equal to my arrow function. And here let's go with remove person. And let's pass in the ID. Now, everything is awesome. And by the way, everything is not awesome, because I did forget to add some kind of value here. And I'll just say remove. So now everything is awesome. However, we'll probably notice something interesting. Every time I'll click on remove, I'll be re rendering. So this is something we expect. Okay, we're changing the list. So of course, it's going to re render. Okay, but what about this? What about count? We have a memo, right? So this shouldn't be happening. I mean, we established in the previous video that memo is checking for those props. And if they haven't changed, well, then the component doesn't re render. And we saw that in a previous video, that was the case. However, we added this function. And now even without going to the performance tab, I can clearly see that these ones are also re rendering. So why is that happening? You see, memo is doing its job. Everything is fine with a memo. We don't need to pass some kind of extra argument or anything like that. The problem is this function. If you remember, all the way back when we covered tum 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 tum, let me find this use effect, the first one code example, what did I say? I said that this function is going to be created from the scratch, correct? And it's also going to be invoked if you're invoking it here. So every time the component is going to re render, two things are happening. This function gets created from the scratch. So in our case, that's remove person. And in here, we also invoked it. Now we're not doing that in the component here. But we are creating this function from scratch every time the state gets updated. And here's the thing, as far as JavaScript is concerned, this prop has changed. So every time we click on account button, we re render the component, correct? And every time we re render, we create that function from the scratch, the remove person. So now in the list component, yes, this value is not changing. This one pretty much stays the same. So memo fix that. However, when it comes to remove person, since it gets created from the scratch each and every time, JavaScript thinks that, yeah, the prop changed. And we can actually go to a dev tools and we can see that. So let me first go to a profiler record and now check it out. I'll click. I can clearly see that they are re rendering and we'll nicely see that the reason for that is because props changed. So notice it even says the remove person changed. That's why the list is re rendering. 
even though it's the same function. And therefore, in the next video, we'll cover a huge callback hook, which actually helps us to solve this issue.